everybody welcome back to my channel today's gonna to be a little bit of a different video I promised you guys that I would do a little bit of a patio tour backyard tour um, of what we've done so far and then I thought I might just combine it with my wantable unbox anyway welcome along and I will give you guys just a quick tour of our backyard okay so first of all this is our fence just put that in in the fall of last year I actually wanted to do a uh, like a black fence but our fencing company said that that was not possible although I have seen a lot of them on Pinterest so I don't know about that it would get way too hot so then we just opted to go for the gray and what it is it's just composite fencing like vinyl and it's supposed to be lifetime um, fence so of course the dogs have to be here right I think Chris is taking off on his Harley. Yep, there he goes. Doesn't he look hot? Careful, you're not wearing your helmet. Yes, I'm doing a video. I have a very hard head. That's for sure. Please be careful. Okay, so when you come in the door, what you would see is the entrance to our porch. There's Elvis. And then um, the backyard here, we've got some perennials and some pavers. And of course, these spots are here on the grass that are dead. We're constantly having to put seed on that because that is where the doggies like to go potty. So unfortunately, that area doesn't always get to be green grass. But as you can see, the rest of the lawn is looking pretty good here first so we installed the pavers quite a few years ago we did that kind of first just because it's easier to have with the dogs but we come back here we just had this landscaping done last fall here on the right and don't ask me the name of all the shrubs and plants because I am definitely not a plant person although I love them but I don't remember all the names I think this is a hydrangea right here but it never flowers so any tips on getting that thing to flower, that would be much appreciated. Back here is the older part of the back of the garage. Um, we have not redone this yet. We do have a little shed here that matches um, the house. This is the back right there that you can see the house. And so we're gonna probably redo like this whole area within the next year or two and get all of this taken out and maybe bump out the garage. So that's in future plans. And then back here, we call the back 40. This is where Elvis loves to go to the bathroom. I just planted this right here, and I've even forgot already the name of it, but that's supposed to be like a really big flower. So I'm looking forward to that coming in big. This is where we have a little squirrel eating station. As you can see, we've already got a little member back there eating. Um, Chris likes to feed the rabbits, the squirrels, and all the animals. So then we've got some lilies planted right there. We've got ground cover here, and then these are daisies, and hopefully those will be coming in any day now. So we've got that whole area back there, and as you can see, the fence. It's very nice. It's a great privacy fence, so I'm loving that. And then I also just planted these two. Um, this one's a dwarf lilac bush, and I forget the name of this one, but those are fairly new, and hopefully those are going to flower yet this summer. And if you go back over here, in the corner that's our newest uh, landscaping area not everything is full grown the tree right there is a dogwood so that'll be full grown someday you can kind of see our neighbors over there but for the most part um, very private so it's looking really nice so I'll just take you guys back up this way this is a new plant right here and so is that these are just lilies over here. So as you can see, I am loving my flowers this year. This little guy, I love. It's so cool and so modern. And here's another little planter. So we've got our purple flowers that just sprouted. And these I'm thinking are gonna be yellow. These were kind of like a red in the spring. So those are done flowering. Then we've got some beach grass over here. And our little fire pit, which we have used already once this season. And the grill is over there. All the furniture I kind of got all over the place. I've got some stuff from Amazon, some stuff from Overstock, but anything that I can find, I will definitely link it for you guys down below. 
And I got another planter right here, and of course the doggy bowl. This, um, hi Claudie. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but this is new decking that we got here in the fall, and we're probably gonna end up staining that wood right there. And a little storage container back there. This is our very cozy sofa. I got that at World Market, and I will link that if they still have them in stock. I'll link it for you guys below. Along with the little blanket, there's my wantable box, which I hope to do an unboxing yet tonight. And the grill. And then we have another gate back here, which is typically all locked up. For you, this is the spot between the houses, which we've kind of taken over here. And we've done all new gravel and all new landscaping. It just really feels like a park like setting over here. And this is kind of what it looks like from this view. We did get this pergola um, at on Amazon. And I'll see if I can get a better view of it for you guys. Right there. It's non-corrosive like aluminum, and so we are gonna leave it up in the winter. So we'll see how that does. So we did have it professionally installed by Amazon. And then the lights I got at Costco, and Chris strung those. And we did have some electrical outlet put in this summer. So just really loving the yard. And there's like a full view. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little patio tour. And don't forget to please subscribe. I am planning a giveaway for the month of August. That's my plan. Um, so I'm hoping within the next month um, to hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to do a giveaway for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe below. And please leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video, if you like the little tour, if you like the patio, what you like about it. If you have any questions, I'm trying to still answer every question. So if you have anything specific that you want to ask me, go ahead and I will try and respond. So give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. I don't know how long I'll last out here, you guys. It is pretty hot. So bear with me. But I think I'm going to have time to do my wantable unboxing with you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Vivian. I do all kinds of videos. Um, today I just got done doing our patio tour. Um, but I, everything's beauty, lifestyle, fashion, French Bulldogs. If you're interested in that kind of thing, if I can ever get this box open, I am planning on doing a giveaway, like I said when I was doing my patio tour, hopefully by August. Um, so stay tuned on that. So that's why you need to subscribe so you don't miss out on the giveaway and all my future videos. So, and also if you've not heard about Wantable and you want to know more about Wantable, um, I'm going to go ahead and link below where you can go check out the website. It's just basically a monthly subscription service. Very simple, but all the information will be in the link below for you guys. First thing I see, I think I'm liking uh, graphic tee. Love, love graphic tees. So cute. Okay, so this is Almond Brothers Tea, the Trunk LTD Almond Brothers Band 1969 Psychedelic Mushroom Ringer Tea with Burnout Wash, Trunk Trademark Novelty Seam Stitching and Patch. And it retails for $60. I'll be trying everything on here next to me, so please make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of the item and the cost and how it looks on. 60 is a little bit steep for a graphic tee in my opinion, but this one is super soft and really cute. Okay, so the second thing is a, this looks like a V-neck. Again, really soft, really pretty. It's kind of in that like blush, purpley color. I like the detail. I do not have anything like that. A little bit of a high-low. Split neck top and dusty rose by Lush. That's why I like it, because I love, I love Lush brand. It's a short sleeve top with a split neck and a loose fit, easily dressed up or down for whatever the day throws at you. 
hot. So that's really cute. I like it. Um, that one retails for $50. Again, a little steep for a t-shirt, but it is really cute. Ooh, I like these. These are from Beulah. They're looking a little tiny. Look at how tiny. That's tiny. <laughs> um, yeah, they better stretch. <laughs> But they're like some <laughs> moto pants, really cute with some zipper detail here. They're like a legging basically, um, just really stretchy. I love these, absolutely love these. Just really simple in the back. And those are the Moto Pan Olive by Beulah, moto styled legging with a zipper detail at the ankle. And those retail for $58, that's not bad. So the next thing looks like a dress or a tunic. I'm looking, thinking it's a dress. It's probably like a cold shoulder. This is by Lilise, which I love that brand. And it looks like it's probably like this. Cold shoulder floral shift dress in black by Lilise. This cold shoulder floral dress is a versatile option for date night or even a casual weekend. And the retails, it retails for $49, so not too bad. Love it. This is a black, it's like a little black t-shirt. Oh my gosh, it's like a swimsuit material. Love it. Just super simple, plain, really different. I love it. Okay, how much That's is that? The Cupro cap sleeve black. The hottest fabric for the season is now available in this great cap sleeve. Let me check where all this is. Pair this with leggings and heels for a girl's night out. And it is on sale for $49. Regularly retails for $59. So that is, that's not too bad for the type of material. I don't have anything like that. So I'm really liking that. So let me know. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Some distressed jeans by Just Black. Just simple bit of the open cuff down here and a little bit more distressing on this side simple in the back guys skinny with destroy with destroy <laughs> High-rise skinny with destroyed medium 27 just black a high-rise skinny denim with destructed knees and skewed cutout hem and they retail for $84. So under 100 bucks for jeans, not too bad. Okay, so the last thing in the box, looks like a gray t-shirt. And high-low, obviously this is a no-brainer, just a basic tee, very cute, super soft material. Simple in the back, really cute. And that is the KLD High Low Tee with Pocket. The super comfortable tee from KLD Signature features short sleeves, V-neck, and a pocket with a high-low helm. This top is loose fitting for flexible sizing and it retails for $49. So, not too bad, actually. Hold on, Claudie. Okay, guys, I've tried everything on. Hopefully you've left me some comments below. Let me know what you thought. I think this was probably my best box from Watchable. I've been kind of on the fence about continuing with them or not, but I think I'm going to keep giving them another shot. As always, I will leave at the end of the video what I decided to keep and what I paid for everything. So I'm really excited and we'll just see what I'm going to keep. I'm not quite sure yet. I know it's not going to be like every item, although the 20% off is very tempting. The leggings were a little bit tight. Um, I love the jeans, the dress, not so much my style, but... I really liked everything so don't forget to leave me a comment below don't forget to subscribe hopefully this video wasn't too much of a mess for you guys I wasn't like all over the place but I kind of wanted to just incorporate the patio and the wantable unboxing so it's not too boring and hopefully you guys enjoyed it so we'll talk to you next time bye